Hello everybody and welcome back to another Marvel Crisis Protocol Battle Report and today we are doing something a little bit different. We're bringing another ultimate encounter your guys way. So today I'm joined by both Reed and Alex. Uh, Alex who's been on the channel a lot frequently and Reed who's been on the channel a lot from the beginning of the channel. <laughs> and um, we are going up against Alex's Dormammu here. So, Alex, for your minions here, who are you uh, bringing along with Mr. Dormammu? Well, because the Midnight Sun get game gave me some fantastic ideas, we're bringing along Sabretooth and Venom as my two evil forthrents to help with Dormammu's evil plans. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that, that's a cool thematic pick. I like that. Over on our side, we also tried to keep it pretty thematic. We are basically going entirely kind of mystic, convoy characters, and then Wolverine, because he's a part of every team, so why wouldn't he be here? Um, so we are doing Defenders and Convocation. I will be running the Defenders, and uh, for my team... I have Doctor Strange leading the Defenders. He has come to bargain. Uh, with him, he is bringing Wolverine, Iron Fist, and Ghost Rider. On the combo side, Reed, you are playing combo. Who is on the combo side? Yeah, so I'll be bringing Doctor Voodoo, uh, Baron Mordo, Ancient One, Moon Knight, and Magic. Um, I'll sign my leader on deployment, but it's probably Voodoo. That makes sense. Uh, for Tactics Cards, we are bringing Deal with the Devil, Heroes for Hire, Patch Up, Iron Bound Books of Shimogoroth, Plane of Pullback, and Brace for Impact, with the first three being mine and the latter three being Reed's. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into deployment and stuff, and then we'll go over kind of how this scenario actually works, and we'll see you guys in a minute. Alrighty, and we have everything deployed. So real quick, we're going to go over the scenario here. There are two of these swirling... Do these actually have names? I... Those are the dimensional rifts. Dimensional rifts. There we go. Two of these dimensional rifts in the different corners of the battlefield here. And we have four of these portals that have opened up. Um, demons downtown? No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of demons downtown. It's kind of, kind of. These portals have opened up, and it is our job to close them to stop Dormammu from coming through. And, of course, he's there on his throne. And uh, so in order to do that... We have to run to these dimensional rifts. We have to pull the... What are these called? Spell um, components. Spell components, thank you. Pull the spell components out of them. That's just an interact. And then we're going to run them back over to these portals. There are four different colored spell components. We need to put one of each into every portal. And then once we have done that, the portal is closed. Closing all four portals just wins us the game, I That's believe. That's the win condition. Perfect. So that is, that is our goal. And every time we do it, we're going to get a card that's going to give us a presumably somewhat powerful one-off ability as kind of a reward for closing a portal. Or punishment. Or punishment, hopefully not. <laughs> um, so uh, that that is what our team is trying to do. And then on the opposing side here, Sabretooth and Venom are going to be grabbing, um, what, are, what are yours called? Mine are called shards. Shards. Dormammu's trying to grab shards from the dimensional rifts and return them to his nexus portal yep uh if he gets enough he can draw power from them level himself up upgrade his character card and start earning more victory points to win the game yes so yeah we're gonna go ahead and and get started with things we have prior right or do you you guys always have prior. we always Even have if, prior. if you finish off the round you have prior. cool so over here uh we have wolverine uh ghost rider dr strange and baron mordo and then over on this side, we have everybody else. We got Iron Fist, Moon Knight, Magic, Ancient One, and Dr. Voodoo. And Dr. Voodoo is your leader, yeah, you said? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and go first and uh, read. we got to think about this. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, we're going to go ahead and have Magic go first. So She's gonna just going to move. Move here. Make sure we're within range four of Venom. Which looks which like it should be. Uh, I got I can measure for you. Here. Thank you. Oh, well... You are Arms definitely within. Cool. So we'll shoot four dice energy. Yep. Um, here. All right. Venom's very good at energy defense. And we get... Okay. Oh. Very good at energy defense. What did I tell you? Three. Uh, He's blocking three. three. Okay. But we still gain a power out of that. Yep. Just gain a power. Then we'll spend two to bump. Or better place bump. with the two. Uh, the two is over there. Oh, I see. And uh, go ahead. We're just going to get right here. Yep, uh, and then she's going to be able to interact and, yep. and pick up a lovely thing, so Oop, just want to show which one you pull on the camera there. So she's got a blue, it looks like? Yep. All right, so she has a blue one, and she will be able to hopefully go drop that off next turn. Uh, so I think next we were going to do Iron Fist over here, so he's just going to kind of come to to back her up. 
Um, so we're gonna move them once. We're gonna check if that puts them in range three, because if it does, we might as well kick, yeah? I think it does. It does. Cool, so we'll throw a fly and kick your way. That's gonna be four dice physical. All right, then um, he's got four dice physical. You're actually good at this one, so of course you'll blank out. Yeah, <laughs> um, and four dice. Uh, three. Not one, bad. two, taken one. All right, so Iron Fist will gain a power for that. He'll get to place beside you, so we'll put him right here. All right. And then he's going to go ahead and interact as well, and I will steal one from the bag here. So let's just go ahead and grab. We are getting green. So Iron Fist is holding a green one. Magic's got a blue one. And I totally had Iron Fist off the camera for that. <laughs> but um, it works. That's going to be it for him. We're going to shift gears, come over to this side now. And we're just going to have Ghost Rider be our first activation over here. So Ghost Rider is going to move medium. Oh, oh. I just forgot something. Uh, Venom doesn't actually take that damage. He doesn't? No, you push him small. Oh, right, because he's beside a thing. Yeah, he's beside That's a thing. actually arguably better here. Yeah. 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 So we're going to do that, uh, and we're just going to send him that way. I'm assuming yep. I It is omnidirectional. Oh, shoot, really? <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, yeah. Just, uh, Get under your venom. Way. We yeah. didn't like you anyways. Um, but yeah, I also totally peeled the power off myself there. But anyways, we're going to go back over here. And with that in mind, should I try to shoot Sabertooth? I don't hate that. But I can't gain power, so I cannot gain the uh, enough to, to get the free move. Oh, because equal to the power dealt? Exactly. Because yeah. so, it's not a gainer. Those previous ones work still because yeah. they're gainers. <laughs> but we'll, we'll start with a move, and we'll see if we're even in range. Because we're that large base, we put ourselves in a kind of not amazing position. So we're gonna go there, and we're not in range. So we're just gonna move again. Uh, and we're just gonna put ourselves within range one. We're gonna go on the far, far side, so if you do wanna get to us, you have to work for it a little. Yep. Um, and we're gonna interact and, and also grab a thing with Ghost Rider, because we like spell components. Yeah. Those seem good. Uh, and Ghost Rider is pulling orange. So, so far we haven't had any duplicates, which is convenient, I guess. And that is going to be it for our team. So you are up, you get the Cosmic Threat, and then one of your other guys, if you would like. Yeah, I think we're actually going to kick things off with... Well, first, before anything else happens, at the start of my turn, Dormammu is going to gain power equal to his presence, which is one. Yep. And then he's going to gain a power for each active portal. So he's going to gain four more. Right. Running off to six. Cool, cool. Because, Dor you know what Dormammu really needed is this kind of power generation. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Uh, another really fun rules thing is you guys can pick up spell components for free. I can't. Nice. I can't pick up shards for free. So, we're going to start with Sabertooth. He's going to pay one and pick up a shard token. Yep. From the Dimensional Rift. And then... Yours don't have fancy colors, so we don't have to shut those off. No. <laughs> He's also going to uh, remember that there is an objective in this game. Yes, for me. so he's going to run away. Run, 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 run as fast as he can. Cool, cool. Alrighty. He's going to put a activated token onto yeah. Sabertooth. It's a little boring turn, but don't worry. We're about to make it slightly less boring. Yeah, because now you have the big one. Yeah, and Dormammu's going to spend the power and do a little teleport. Yeah. He's able to teleport from any dimensional portal to any other one. Yeah, so he can go wherever he feels like. And being. hello, we have friends here. We do. They're not friends with you, but, you know. <laughs> uh, we're going to start by going into Iron Fist. Alrighty, Iron Fist. So this Fist is going to be a, his Shadow Bolt. This is six die energy. Ah, well, I have blanks on that, so we're totally fine. I also have your skulls on this. Well, you know what? We're not going to roll any. This also has a wild hex. Three? I'm getting three so far with a crit. Two crits? I'm getting four. Uh, I am getting five because I count skulls. Yep, so I will take one damage. Mm -hmm. uh, no hex and no sap power. Wow, Dormammu's kind of weak, not going to lie. <laughs> this is where he Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, then he's going to he's gonna one-shot from the next attack. Uh, we're, gonna, we're sure going to try, uh, because we're going to spend the remainder of his power on incantation of obliteration. Yep. Yeah. So this is going to be an eight die mystic attack going into Iron Fist. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's exactly what this is gonna be. Uh, and if I get a wild, a hit, a shield, and a skull, I get to do this attack into magic. Uh, yeah, fun. Also, I still count your skulls. So. Yes, you do. <laughs> and mine. 
Ooh. That's pretty good. Oh, um, no. Six. Yeah, with, with a crit. Two crits. Two crits. Uh, I'm blocking three with a crit, so we actually might have a chance here. You're on seven? Yep. So I'm seven. blocking four. This is an iron fist. But mystic though, right? Never mind. Yeah. I am blocking three, which means I take exactly four, which means I go down. All right. You drop that spell component. I do. Now it does, if uh, Sabretooth drops a shard, it's destroyed, but your spell components are not. Yes. So we're just going to drop them way over here. Cool, cool. Make us work for it. Make you work for it. And correct me if I'm wrong, there's an exact number of spell components, so we need all of them? Uh, as far as I know, yes. Alrighty. So we will, at some point, need to send somebody to go pick that up. Yep. Are we allowed to hold more than one? I don't, I think you can hold more uh, than You can, because when you interact with the portal, it says place each spell yeah. component this character is holding that is not currently present on a portal. Mm -hmm. um, cool. And interacting with the token is not in legally interacting with the rift, so you can exactly. pick up from the rift, pick up from the por the one on the ground. And go to the portal in the same turn. Yeah. Um, yep, yeah, that's that's big. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, during the last round, uh, Ghost Rider would have gained two power, because you punched Iron Fist twice, and um, he's his friend. So, <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're going to start out with Moon Knight over on this side, and we're basically just going to see if he gets the free move, because if he does, he's a good candidate to go after that component that dropped. So go ahead and roll your personality for the turn. So we will get a hit, which is... Uh, I believe that's the attack one. Actually, yep. two dice. Okay. I don't think it's worth punching Dormammu. I think you still want to just run and grab a component. Yeah, because he's got how much health? Uh, eight. Eight, but five defense dice. Gross. Okay. Uh, so I think we're just moving him to that. Yeah, to that I think that is a good... So, going to move Moon Knight here. Yep. And we're just going to. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to move here. Yep. And go ahead and pick up a component. Yep. We're going to pick up a component. Here you are. Cool. Just grab one of these. And he'll grab a yellow one. Uh, no, uh, that's the other side. A green, green one! one. <laughs> that makes more sense. Hey, so we, the one we lost. This is fine. Exactly. We <laughs> replaced it. You don't All need right. that one. You can just leave it there. For our next activation, I think we'll go down here. I think uh, Wolverine's probably a solid model to go ahead and, and try to jump in on this, um, just because he's not going to be doing anything else until that point anyways. So we're just going to move him, and boom again. He's got all the movement in the world to make it here. So we're going to pull from the bag again, because yay. Uh, and Wolverine is orange. So him and Ghost Rider have the same one, which is a little awkward, but you know, we'll make it work. We're gonna go with the Ancient One next, because she can actually do something mildly meaningful on her turn. Yep, so we're just gonna move here. Yep. Good. Ooh, we might not be able to get to the portal. Oh, uh, with the, just the place? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm. Uh, it's up to you if you want to go for the portal or violence. He's 555, so there's no downside to hitting a Mystic. Well, we can definitely do it next turn, so yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Uh, I'm just gonna throw five dice Mystic at him. Yeah, because next turn she could walk to the portal, pick up a thing, and get back, so. Yeah, I'm not too Might as well that. just throw the dice and see how it goes. Here comes eight damage. Eight damage, let's go. Okay, that's not that's quite. That's bad, that's four with a pierce. Not and a crit. Quite, not quite eight damage. Well, there's a skull that he's gonna count, I think. I don't think so. Oh, not on defense? No, I don't think he counts on defense. So you get pierced and you only block one of the four, so you're gonna take, take three. three. That's a solid hit. So I'll gain three. And he will gain three as well. Awesome. Um, uh, after he gains three, uh, he's going, or takes three damage and gains three power. He's going to spend two of it for Feel the Power of Darkness. Yep. So this means that Ancient One is going to be pushed small and hexed. So maybe place her back a little closer. Yeah, that's what I was going to so do. So that way she'll still be able to do her stuff next next round. Yep, so I'm going to spend two for, um, there's a name for this, Miss of Hogoth. We're going to place within two. Cool, cool. And yeah, that's not bad. Um, Alrighty, I think, oh, we have one more, don't we? You went with... Uh, Wolverine, Wolverine Ancient, one, Ancient One. Oh, and Moon Knight. Yeah. So, nope, that's it. That's it. Dormammu is going to gain five power because gaining in the power phase is for chumps. Yep. We're going to spend five power and we're going to do an incantation of obliteration, the eight die mystic, into Moon Knight. I don't have enough power for this. He's got three. Yeah, I can't do my special mystic. Yeah, he can't do his. Uh, oh, well. Plus two dice. This is going to be eight die mystic. Yeah. Counting both players' skulls. Well, you're getting plus one. I think Moon Knight's down. Yep. Oh, this was a blank. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it definitely takes Moon Knight. Uh, uh, all right. He'll drop. Um, I got uh, this wherever you want. 
You don't get five I did not it. roll a shield, unfortunately, so I don't get to do it again, but I did take you down. This was the one he dropped? Yep. yep. Mo- uh, Dormammu is going to spend a power and pick it up. Cool, cool. Uh, for his second action, Just how about two. magic then? Yep, magic has no tech against anything yep. but mystic. So yep. we're going to be doing shadow bolt. This is energy. Cool. Yep. Uh, counting both players' skulls. No skulls this time, please. One, maybe two. Maybe a skull. Maybe a skull. No, no just one. Uh, I've got three. three. So I'll take and two. You yeah. take two. Uh, there was also wild sap power twice and a hex. So I had no hat power I had power before this. So sap power won't matter. Yeah, okay. um, but I will get hexed. Um, and then I will use my leadership. And I'll place. Mm-hmm. Right. And it is a thing. Yeah. And I think we want to run a little. Just kind of back up and away from Yeah, you still want to go kind of towards a portal. Yep. Oh, I'm not too worried because she can... Actually, keep her within one. Why? Because she can interact with it and pick up another one before she goes for a portal next round. You can all multiple these? Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay. So you can you can pick up a so, bunch so of them. So she was like here. Yeah, so just bump her like back, I guess. She has the movement to get. She, she, def- she definitely has the movement, so I'd rather just be away from Venom a little. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, that's Speaking her. of, is Venom going this round, or are you waiting for the last one? Uh, He feels pretty safe right now, All right. so I feel like Venom's just going to hang out for this activation. That makes sense. Well, we might as well go with our, well, I mean, we have to go with our last three. Yep. So, we're going to bring Doctor Strange first, because he's relatively simple, I think. Uh, he's just going to double move and, and grab a thing for himself. So he's going to move. We're going to put him right about here. And then he's going to move again. He's going to go... Right here beside Mr. Logan. He's going to pick up a thing. So if you'd be so kind, wherever the bag is, Alex. The bag? Knock all my models all over the place with the camera. And we are picking up green. So that is a different color, at least. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's all for me. Reed, if you want to maybe have Mordo do the same. Yep. So Mordo is just going to... Um, I think I should have a landing spot somewhere. Yeah, just, just yeah. on this side here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. Just gonna Perfect. Go straighter like that. And, and we're gonna which one are you getting? You are getting... Uh, uh, purple. purple, pink, whatever. That's new. Yeah, that's the first purple or pink we've got, so that's good. Mordo. Cool, cool. Alrighty, and then last but not least is Mr. Voodoo. It's getting very crowded. Yeah, it's riffs. pretty inspired it is. by that uh, move that Mordo made. So, a move. Yep. We're gonna move. It's gonna end right here, and we're gonna track. Yep. So one more, Alex. <laughs> one more. <laughs> if you want to put the bag on this side, it might be easier. That might be a little Re- easier. But for now. Drop. <laughs> and we are getting purple, purple. and pink again. Yeah. Makes sense. And that's for Mr. Voodoo. And uh, that is us. So you have Venom and Dormammu. Yes. Uh, well, Dormammu is going to gain more power again. Five. Yep. Because who likes having power? It's Mr. Dormammu. So, Venom's going to kick things off. He's going to do a move action uh, to get himself back over to this portal. Yep. Or this rift, sorry. And he's going to pay a power and interact with it to grab a shard. Yep. Then doesn't he doesn't have the power for a web snare anymore, but he is just in range to target uh, magic. Cool magic. Okay, uh, magic will have three dice here, and she's hexed, and I've got five. Yep, and this cool. has an auto bleed. Alrighty. Good thing that wasn't a. Uh, yeah, uh, it's still gonna take her down. Yeah, I'll take three and go down. Okay. Alrighty. And Ghost Rider will continue gaining power because Ghost Rider is loving. She had a component. Yep. Okay, so that component is going to go. Ooh, this is so awkward. <laughs> that component is going to go down right. He- no, we're gonna put it down <laughs> way over here. That makes sense. Dormammu so. can't go grab grab that one this turn, so let's make it hard. Yep, and then speaking of Dormammu... Speaking of Dormammu, there's so many people around him that he would like to punch very hard. Uh, how... No one's, like, damaged. No, everyone's everyone's either full health or dead. Yep. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. yeah that, that is good for you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Dormammu would like to punch 
uh, the ancient one with a shadow bolt. So this is four, six dice energy. Sure. And okay. it's going to count both of our skulls with a wild hex and a wild sap power. Cool, and I've got martial artist. Uh, I've got four because I'm counting skulls. He's on two so far, three. So you will take um, one. Re -roll. Oh. Four. Four. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. Mm. So instead, we're going to do that. Sorry, I still take oh. one. I rolled in a crit. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Are you hexed? I was you were hexed. hexed. Oh. So you take a damage. Ha ha. Cool. Uh, which means I gain power. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. And I guess I can place them. Sorry. Oh, yeah. You also yeah. get your little bump. Yeah, we're just going to bump away. Bump away. Can you bump onto the car for cover? I don't think I can. Oh, I darn. think I'm just out. I'm just out. All right, we'll go closer to it. So if he can, if he hits you again, you can. It's Not once per it character. Mm -hmm. But yeah. never mind. <laughs> All right, well, per turn. Yeah. All right. I think I need to focus on. No, we we could focus on unchecked aggression, but occasionally the mission is important, and sometimes you can do that while still doing some checked aggression. <laughs> We're going to be paying three for none of this dimension, allowing him to place within two of his current position. Yep. So he's just going to go and pick up that one that was dropped earlier. He's just going to go over here. Maybe not the whole distance, but yep, just, just enough, enough pick it up. so that he can you going to pay another power and yoink like this. Damage on him. And then we're going to be doing that. Uh, now that counting blanks was just martial artist. Yeah. yeah. So I probably should have done this first, but now we're going to beat up the ancient one. It's fair. With oh. a six die shadow bolt. We'll spend three. We're going to push you towards us. Okay. Yep. That'll bring you hopefully into martial artist range. Yeah. Because can oh, do... it's before damage. Yeah. Oh, so I didn't this, realize. It's this cool tech thing she can do to, to always get martial artist. Yep. That's interesting. I dig that. Yep. Well, I fell for that hard. Let's beat you up for it. Woo! I'm still counting your skulls. See if we can roll for it again. Oh, shoot. Sure. Oh, that's a skull. That's a skull. Uh, and that's a crit your, your for hit. me. I don't think it's going to matter. One. Uh, so I'm getting or one, two, three, four, five, six on me, seven, and one seven. from you. I will drop. <laughs> yep. Uh, Agent one will take what five damage? Five damage. Was she carrying a component? No. No. Well, Durat. Still, that's uh, that was Shoot. a normal turn, and then I believe you score one victory point for existing. Yeah, I score one victory point for the sheer act of being this cool. Yep. <laughs> um, and we'll go into round two. Oh, there I do have something in the power phase, though. Oh, uh, I'm going right. to spend two off of Ancient One. Yep. Uh, we're going to play Iron ba Ironbound Books. So all your Mystic Attacks into Allied Characters, Convocation, Allied Character. Allied Character. So that would include me, I think. Yes, you may choose it to go uh, can Can be Mystic, which is good for everyone except Wolverine. So, so. all my attacks into you are Mystic? Only Physical. If, so your if, energy is yeah. still energy. Okay, yeah. so that's just affecting the spectral claws, but that is one that I'm going to want to start using soon. Well, because it allows <laughs> it allows him to uh, draw extra power from the nexus if he's got enough shards there. All right, we're going to start at the round with Iron Fist here, and Iron Fist is going to do rude things to Venom that won't actually damage him, but will activate him, um, and will damage uh, Dormammu actually. Yeah. Um, so we're going to use the Iron Fist. Uh, and this is going to be a nine dice mystic or er, mystic energy attack. Mm -hmm. And assuming we do at least one damage, which we probably do, um, Venom's got one defense. Time. Or That's actually, sorry, it's not before damage itself. There is no no thing for damage here. We are just pushing you. All right, you uh, pushed me small. Woohoo! The most effective, the most which, impactful yeah, iron fist against um, Venom is still pretty good because he's also activated now and mm -hmm. out of position, so he's done this round. Um, and then. We're going to do a flying kick on Dormammu. Also, Dormammu take one, takes one damage. Oh, that. yes. And we'll gain a power. Like a splash thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then we're going to flying kick Dormammu. So this is just four dice physical. I'm not expecting much here. All right. I've got five. Oh, before we do that, we're oh. picking up a thing, obviously. That's yes. the entire reason why we're doing this. But also, what an attack roll. Good defense roll. Yeah. Uh, you block it all. All right. Um, but I am going to draw a pink one. Additionally, Dormammu is going to... Spend two power on not uh, three yeah two power on field of power of darkness. So uh, what's the timing on that? Uh, it's after an attack targeting this character is resolved. So you That's, would place first. I do place first, which is mildly unfortunate, but maybe I can backstop it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna place ourselves. Uh, yeah, so we'll place ourselves there, but then you're gonna get to push us. And you will be hexed. And we're hexed. Rude. Um, so that's unfortunate for Iron Fist because he doesn't actually get to go drop that off now. Mm -hmm. 
But uh, that is it for him. Uh, we'll go with magic. All right. Uh, we're going to interact first and grab a thing out of that. Bag is right here. Yeah. And we get... Uh, in front of the camera? Green. green. Which is That's fine. Yeah, we don't have greens on that side, so... Well, Dormammu has two of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, then I think we'll Hopefully just not for long. Yeah. Move right here to where we really don't care if he gets pushed. Yep. Yeah. And we'll spend four for a Dark Child. I'll count skulls in both rolls, too. Yep. Okay. So you're... Uh, yeah, you're the only and one. And this is so. Mystic, if that matters. All right. Oh, really? Oh, couple out of the box there. Yeah, it's unfortunate because those were nice. That one almost. Okay. So uh, I'm blocking two. We're uh, getting three, three because of the skull. Yep. So I'll block just one. one. Just one. Are you immune to bleed and incinerate? <laughs> Uh, yes, to both actually. Okay, shoot. So none of that. Uh, and I, you've backstopped yourself pretty well, so there's no real point to push you. Yep. yep. And uh, you do need a power to drop off the token. Can you get over there with a bump? Uh, shoot. Yep. That was. Oh yeah, that might clear. That's right. Yeah, clear. we're gonna maybe, try. Uh, Spend well, one. maybe I should have pushed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you, you you might as well put some tokens on the battlefield at some point, right? Yeah, she gets to drop off. It's just one. Cool. It's just a green one. Mm -hmm. Face um, is annoying. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, and spend one. Throw a green token into that portal, which we gives us it. one out of four, or I guess one out of 16 if you want to look at it that way. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, glass is half there. full. Speaking of, uh, we have another activation over there if we want it. I think I like Moon Knight because I'm really concerned about him. Um, Alrighty. So we're going to interact again. Oh, personality first. Yes, oh, first things what first. What is Mark Spector's personality? Just how crazy is he? Blank. Blank. Uh, which is power, I think. Power's cool, I guess. Um, well, a spender um, gives him a place, so actually this could work out really well. So you can pick one up, you can do a spender, and then if he pushes you away, just move back onto the portal. Absolutely, so I'll interact to pick one up. Yep. And we get... C. see. Um, um, going on the camera. Shoot. Another green. Ooh. You know what? That's okay. So we're going to spend four for Avatar of Khonshu. All right. Yep. So big old attack coming at Dormammu here. Here comes Seven Dice Mystic, whose text beyond the place does not matter. All right. Uh, yeah. Two, four, five, six, seven. Oh, out of the box. That looks good so far. Though. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so oh, he's in, blanking out. We're actually box, just going to take him. And then the crit. Cool. Yeah. Wow. So how? Uh, well. Not how much damage. You did three. Cool. <laughs> so you get to place within one of him. Yeah. All right. Um, after the attack's uh, resolved, though. Is it after the attack is resolved? Uh, yeah. So, so we're going to have to check the timing here. Uh, yeah. So the timing does uh, not actually take him off the table until the effect is resolved. So Moon Knight will place within one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he will leave the table. Dormammu will leave the table. Excellent. Now, the big catch with this is actually... Can you get to one? Well, I just spend one. Oh, also he drops two green ones, right? Uh, yes. He which, drops them. Which he already has. Yes. We have all the green ones in the game now. I can interact with these portals to teleport, though. A two rifts. <sighs> okay. Yeah, so he drops these two green ones. That's real unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, um, to, so I think we them? put one somewhere where Ancient One Who Hasn't Gone Yet can pick it up. Yep, so one will go here. And then one maybe towards Voodoo if it has the reach. Or even Iron Fist? I think that would have... Well, no, it's from here. Or, oh, yeah, uh, from Dormammu. Yeah, yeah. From Dormammu? Yeah. Oh, he was yeah. on that side. So, yeah, you could put that with Voodoo. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. Um, and then, yeah, as for Moon Knight himself, he only has one move action, or he could pay one, take a damage, and teleport. Um, the teleport would be to a Rift, though, which doesn't really help him here. And the one move action, I don't think, gets him where he wants to be on either side. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'd like go halfway towards this one, yeah. I guess. It means like if Dormammu wants to chase him, he's running away from other people. So we're just gonna have Moon Knight run yeah, over to go. this portal here, just kind of start heading that direction. Uh, unfortunately, because of the way things worked out, he doesn't actually have any means of getting to one because he couldn't have teleported over here. There's just not a big enough landing zone for him to then get to this portal in a single move. So is what it is, but honestly, still not a bad round for us. We've taken Venom out of the equation for this round, and Dormammu has to respawn. So that's good for us. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, speaking of, Dormammu is going to respawn now. So at the start of my turn, the timing doesn't quite work out for me on this one. So at the start of my turn, he's going to come back in with one fewer presence value. So he's down to zero, which is, is zero weaker than presence, he was before. Which means that his physical and energy defense is now four. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, 
this when he is placed here, he can immediately draw power from the Nexus and remove shard tokens, so which are not on the Nexus. Sabretooth has not gotten to it. Sabretooth has not gotten there yet. That being said, he is going to gain power equal to the number of active portals and so. to his presence, which is zero. Yep. So he's going to gain four. And on the plus side, I can do this in the any order that I want. So what I'm going to uh, in terms of minions versus Dormammu first. Yep. So we're going to go with Sabretooth first. Yeah, go drop off some things. Yeah, Sabretooth is going to walk over to here. And as far as I can tell, he still has to pay a power to do this. Yep, I'm not specified otherwise. He's going to take this shard token and put it on the Nexus. Cool, cool. So you have one there. And then he's going to pay another power to interact with the Nexus and use it as a portal. Yep. That's a portal in the back there. He's just jumping right on in. And he's going to go say howdy to some of his friends. That That's is scary. rude, but yep, makes sense. Uh, uh, Voodoo hasn't gone yet, Correct. but Voodoo also has... Four dice for all of the... Four, 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 six. Four, yeah. four, six. And, six and uh, magic is right there. Yeah. So first he's going to spend the power and pick up... The, or no, he can't. Dormammu can. Yeah, Dormammu can have those. I, I figured those guys couldn't. Yeah. So instead, we're just going to very angrily beat the crap out of magic. Makes sense. Appreciate it. All right. So this is going to be five die with a wild pierce. Oh, it's got three, so hopefully oh, I'll make it mystic. Oh, oh yeah, it's mystic. mystic. Yeah, because this is a uh, mystic claw. Yeah, it's a mystic claw. To the book. Uh, just one, one stone. That's only two on the attack side, though. Okay. Uh, uh, three. three. So you'll take two. You'll and take two. I'll use my leadership. I will gain yeah, two power. Well. And I think... She's right beside a green thing, but she's already activated, hasn't she? Yeah, so I think we just try to get it out. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, just run away a little bit. Cool, cool. Yeah. And... Uh, Sabretooth is done after that. Uh, well, well he might sure. be able to throw. Yeah. Uh, Sabretooth is going... No, he's not going to throw. Okay. He's going to... Yeah. yeah. He's going to spend the power. Yep. Pick and he's going to pick up a shard from the dimensional rift. If he had been able to get one more power, he would have been able to throw himself away afterwards. Yeah. But that's not all. It's Dormammu time. Yes. He's going to spend oh. one of his ten power to teleport himself to an absurd location on the board. I'm going over here? He's oh, coming God. over to this side. There's Alrighty. a bunch of people over here, and he doesn't like that. Oh, speaking of, magic just took damage, so guess who's... Got even more power. I've probably missed one at this point, but he's at nine anyways. <laughs> uh, so he's coming over to say hello to some very friendly people over here. Yep. Um, we're going to uh, bully, bully a, a, a Wolverine. That makes sense. We're going to be paying five. Rrr. Mm. Do we bully a Wolverine? No, you know what? I think we bully... Yeah, we bully Wolverine. We're spending five for Incantation of Obliteration. This is an eight die mystic, counting everybody's skulls. So just correction real quick for, for everyone watching at home. Um, the teleport's actually to a portal, not to a rift. We, we realized because Dormammu did one and Sabretooth did the other when it's being done by his team because we both have different rules on that. Yeah, I got turned around um, doing that. So Sabretooth would have actually been slightly differently positioned. It doesn't really change anything on our end, though. So, yeah, we're going yep. to go from there. All right. Anyways, which one did you decide you're punching? We're and punching. Which way are you punching them? We are punching Dormammu into a, uh, a Wolverine. Yep. And we're doing an eight dime mystic, counting everybody's skulls. Well, unfortunately, Ironbound Books doesn't work the other way. <laughs> uh, but I might be able to Doctor Strange this. Um, it's two dice. I think it's worth trying. Yeah. I, yeah. It's Doctor Strange is going to go nice. ahead and pop two power to add two extra dice to uh, Wolverine here. Okay. And hopefully that helps keep him a little bit more alive. All right. Uh, four. Five, Five, actually. I'm blocking two, but you're getting one out of mine as well. Ouch. And my two crits are another one, so six. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my two blocks is going to do five total damage. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, that hurts, but we live. He lives. Okay. Well, I'm going to be spending my last three power. And giving you an opportunity, would you like to make this a mystic attack? It's physical, uh, but... Definitely not. <laughs> um... Alright, so this is a six die... Uh, spectral claws. We haven't seen this one yet. He gets full rerolls on this. Yes. Oh. It's a wild pierce, and if I successfully KO Wolverine, I can take this shard token from the Nexus and immediately power up. Cool. I've got four. Two. 
Uh, two currently, but or with three re rolls. Uh, no. Oh, it doesn't don't apply count. on this one, eh? Nope. I just got a single crit in here. It's going to be two. I get my full reroll into uh, four Five. with a pierce. Or four with a pierce. Um, so that's going to end up doing enough. You're going to deal two damage. Okay. And Wolverine will go down. He's also going to drop a orange uh, thing. Okay. We're going to drop that. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't just pick that up, eh? No, I need to spend just power drop it for it. So the we're dropping over it here? next to the portal there. No, we're dropping it over here. Outside. Make it a little bit harder for your people to pick it up and put it immediately back down. Cool. Uh, that being said, Dormammu is going to draw power from the Nexus. Yep. And immediately up his presence back to one. Cool, cool. And I believe that's it for Dormammu. For now. Alrighty. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start out with Ghost Rider on this side. And he's going to draw from the bag and he's going to draw an orange one, which is unfortunate because that's what he already had. Um, Alright. But that's fine. So then we're going to do a simple move action. That's just gonna put us right here. We're going to pick this up for free because that's how this works. So we have three orange ones on Ghost Rider, but we're gonna pay a power to drop one of them off. Right about here. Then we're going to give ourselves a three power long move. Um, see if that just gets us to another portal. I think it does. Like it. So we're gonna just drive on over this way. Uh, and we're going to be careful with the placement here. We want to be as close to the upper portal as possible. Right about there. We're going to pay one power and drop off another orange one. Because Ghost Rider is the bearer of the uh, of the orange spells here. <laughs> and then we're going to do a final move action to this final portal up here. And we're going to drop off our third and final orange, and we have officially made it 25% of the way towards succeeding this ultimate encounter. Turns out motorcycles are fast. Do you want Ancient One to try and do some similar things with some greens? Uh, she could she drop out, she could, she's gonna have a hard time getting to another portal. That's the problem. Um, could she pick up a green? Yeah. Teleport herself to the uh, rift with her like place two? Yeah. Um, I think that makes it, it's tight, it but should, should make, make it. it. Then she could teleport from the rift, um, or no, then she walks back to this one. Whatever she picks up, she can drop off. And then teleport from this one to my portal. She still has a move action and walk back over yeah, to this I one think with that's the other the green. Best play, yeah. All right. So we're going to spend one to pick up that green. Yep. Oh, wait, we don't spend. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. are free. My bad. And then she can pay two to jump yep. or, or gamma leap. <laughs> uh, here, with here, Miss of Hogoth. Yes. She's just going over this way? Yeah, just as close to the rift yeah, as humanly possible. Yep. Make Definitely should make it. Oh, you for sure can. And then, then she's going to pick one up yep. from the bag here. Oh, so from I'm going to find right? a spot for the... Yeah. Oh, I mean, she might as well pick up the other green one, too. Yeah, because we want to spread out the greens, right? Yeah, as much as we can. Yeah, and we already... So, yep. Might as well pick that up, too. Because we can pick up as many of these as we feel like. And then we're going to... And then to... pick one from the bag. You can do both. Oh, shoot, yeah. I keep on feeling it's free. <laughs> and that is going to be showed on the camera. Uh, it is purple. Yes. Which is perfect, because then one move action will let you drop off that purple. Yeah, we're just going to end. Doesn't within really one. matter, just within one. So drop off the purple in there. By spending the power? Uh, yep. And here we And go. then spend another power to go on a trip. Which we do. Yep. And we'll take a damage, and Dormammu will gain a power. Bingo. But we're going to put her over here. And... Just as close to the portal as you can. Yeah, where's the one? Yep. Yeah. Uh, for that matter, pick up again. Because you're on a new <laughs> portal. We're going to pick up again. Sure. <laughs> oh Why goodness. not? We haven't interacted with this rift. And this is blue. So yeah. we're actually going to almost clear a uh, portal here. Because then one move action. Or no, I she picked only... up a pink before, right? Who'd you put it on? No. She put this one over here. Yeah, oh, she there. dropped the pink over there. Ah, yeah, oh, if we held on to it. If, well, I, could, I couldn't, though. Because oh. I only had greens before that. And I can't... I meant you could have brought the purple here if, if we knew. Yes, but I, that's the only, I only had purple and green when I was there. Yeah, so we wouldn't have dropped anything there in that case. I guess. No. But like, I, can't way. I can't double interact anyways. Either way, we'll move her over to this one. No. You put all of them down when you put them down. Wait, what? Yeah, You have each. to put them all, yeah. Oh, shoot. Anything that's not the color that's already there. So... We're going to move her onto this portal, and she's going to put two in it. Yeah, I did not know that. That's yeah, so we are one away from completing this portal now, and we have one more activation this round. That was her. So we're going to go with Mordo next. He's going to pick up one more from the bag. Actually, hold up. I Maybe gotta, not. Uh, I will definitely do that. Okay. Sorry, but I, I'm just reading something. Yeah. 
Um, we will grab blue, blue, it looks like. Which is kind of useful. Perfect. So yeah. we'll go ahead and yep. move over there. Pay one power to go ahead and drop off. Hopefully he's in. Looks like it. Oh, oh well, he definitely is now. Uh, actually, that is just, just out. Oh my god. He has another action, so he could move and do it again, which I think is Which is doing. much better, yeah. Mm -hmm. It does so, deny Go as far as you power. can on like, that side. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we'll drop off the f the blue one. Yep. Or purple one, purple rather. One, which yep. is... So that is a portal completed. The portal Ooh. is removed from play, it said. It is removed from play. So that's one down. And you get to draw one of these random effects. Oh boy. Let's see what this gets us. And... Blazing Inferno. When this card is revealed, all characters within two of the closing Dark Dimension Portal suffer two damage. Each damage character gains four power. Oh, oh dear boy. God. So that would have included Wolverine, I think. But he was um, dazed? He's dazed. Oh, yeah, so it doesn't matter. So, so Ancient Mordo, one. Ancient One, and Dormammu. Take two oh. power and take two damage and gain four power. I really did not Ouch. like this. <laughs> Ow. The power's nice, but that's about it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. This does not count as an enemy effect. No. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm that, okay with this. Here we go. That was, that was, uh, that was an effect. Alrighty. Well, we did manage to score a lot of points though this round or this turn. Yep. And uh, it is back to the Dark Dimension's yeah. turn. So that's it's just true. Dormammu now. Uh, Venom only gone. Uh, he was activated this round by Iron Fist. Oh my goodness, you're right. Yeah, he's just hanging out. Yep. So Dormammu is going to be gaining uh, four power plus one for his presence, putting him yep. all the way back up to ten. Or no, three power plus one for his presence, because you took out one of the portals. I did. Haha. -ha. We're yes. slowing him down. He's being slowed. So we really need to lay on the attrition game to kind of stop what's been happening here. Um, I like rolling big dice, and I like saying... Oh, sure, I can attack you with Mystic. What are the ranges on all of your attacks? Uh, four, two, and three. Have Ancient One pull him in response, so that way he can't punch Strange if he... Yeah, if he that makes sense. Uh, the two or at least is, with some of his Well, yeah. it's two every attacks first, and then I... Yeah, yeah the yeah. two... I will give you this. The two is not the one that I'm going to be using this turn. That's because fair. that... The, all it, it is full rerolls, which is nice, but it's... Is it's the one that I, I as a spender, and it's the one I use to pull things from here for free. That's fair. which is not something I'm going to be doing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not worth it then. No. Although if we're expecting her to die anyways, which I think we are. They don't harm. Actually, I got a plan with this. So yeah. Okay. Um, are you targeting ancient one now? I am targeting ancient one. We'll spend three. We're gonna push him small. Mm -hmm. Just going to... towards ancient one. Yeah. I think this is. Yeah. That, that's technically in the towards arc. Yep. Yeah. Cause... He's hanging out over here. Also keeps him away from any rifts or portals that he can use to teleport. Also, if I get my place, I can get cover, just in case. Sure. <laughs> so, we've got eight die mystic, counting both players' skulls. Okay, and I got five with two re-rolls. Uh, I don't think those re-rolls are going to save you. I don't think so, because I also rolled a skull. But re-roll. Oh, wait, crit and then re-roll. Yeah. Uh, and then a skull. <laughs> well... Um, so I'm counting your skills. Yeah, I think one, she's two, just down. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll take three and I'll drop this. Got him. Uh, Dormammu is going to... Uh, actually, what's the timing on the bounced attack? Uh, I'm assuming it's after the attack is resolved. But it doesn't... I didn't get the trigger. No. It wouldn't matter, because Ancient One leaves the table first. Oh, neat. Yeah. Um, Iron Man uh, books re-enter my hand, because the character was KO'd. Yep. I'm going to pick up... Pay a power and pick that spell component up. That is mine, and you may not have it. Also, go share against more power, because he likes this. <laughs> uh, and then Mortar was holding things, and I don't like that. Key. So we're yep. going to be doing a six-die... Energy at you. Okay. Cool. Is that energy? Uh, um, no. Yeah. Yeah. We can't touch energy. And same stats, right, for this turn. Yeah. He's, oh, is Iron Bell looks just physical to energy? Uh, mystic, yeah. mystic okay. but he's two four four. So oh, okay. either way, I'm rolling four. So, three. Uh, that's three. Not bad. He's getting four five. And okay. you have no skills, so. Cool. So two. So I'll take two. Uh, and I got three wilds, so you're going to be hexed and sap power for three. Yep, sure. Uh, so you'll get all three of my power and I'll be hexed. Mm -hmm. um, and I take three? Yeah. Yep. Or two, you took two. two? Okay, my bad. Which means he's still alive. Two? Okay. He's still alive. And then I'm going to spend good. three power for not of this dimension. I'm going to... Gamma leap. Gamma leap. Oh, wait, do I want to do it this way? Gamma leap that way? way? Yeah. Cool, cool. 
Alrighty, undoes the push a little bit, but it's just been power. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, and we're going to be going for our final remaining activations, which is actually just two. It's just uh, Voodoo and Strange. Yeah. So yeah. Strange is pretty easy. He's going to pick up and double move to Ghost Rider's portal, so I'll just do him and get him out of the way. So he's going to pick up and draw a... Pick one, which is great, because we don't have that over there. Then... He's just going to double move over to a portal. We're going to slow down your power as much as humanly possible by getting this one real close to closed. Mm -hmm. So that's just going to be a move action. And we're going to do a second move action just to the edge of that portal there. And we're going to place... Shoot, this costs a power. Oh, oh no. Shoot. Yeah. So we're holding on to him there. Not much we can do about that. Um, because, yeah, Doctor Strange has no power to place anything down. I kind of didn't think about that part, but I still think double moving him is the right call here. Okay. Um, sure. so, yeah, that's going to be it for Strange. Um, Voodoo is up, then. Just go to pull from the bag first. Yeah, that would make sense. There's no reason not to. decide what I want to do next after that. If he pulls a blue, that could That's what I'm really hoping for. Which, I think there's, that's all that's left in the bag. Yeah! We do get the blue. There is still a blue over here. That's fine. I think. <laughs> uh, Can he get that and still get back to the portal? I don't think so. Well, I'm thinking, he, there's a, is there any chance he can... So, move over to the portal, drop off a blue. We don't have the power to teleport, though. Uh, then you're punching. <laughs> so, first drop off the blue. That, yeah. That's more important than punching. Yep. Uh, so, we'll drop off a blue one on this portal here. And then punch Sabretooth, I guess. Uh, Sabretooth, four, four three, four. Uh, but it's the distance to the rift that stops the thing. Yes, so he's going to be... Pushed uh, instead of damaged. So you I need like the that. wild or the skull to get power. I'm fine with that. Yeah. yeah. So we're relying on the wild or the skull a little bit here, but that's that's okay. Also, I'd love a double hit trigger so I could push them throw him. That would be nice. That'd be great. Um, <sighs> would have been in, one heck of an attack roll, but none of the trigger. things we want other than to throw. There's, There's the a skull, skull, so you're getting one power. Okay. Good. And, and we're pushing and throwing you. <laughs> yes. Woo! So, uh, it prevents that damage and is pushed small instead, and your throw is after damage? After the attack so, is resolved. Yeah, so yep. the push is before the throw. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. So, yeah, that works uh, out really nicely. We're just going to basically send him to... Away. Not, not quite the middle of nowhere. Don't throw him at him. No, 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 no. I have no intention of doing that. <laughs> now, I will say, both of them have the have a shard. Mm-hmm. So you did kind of send him the direction he wants to go anyways, but it is away from us. So I don't fine. want him killing us. Um, so I'm going to... Can I interact and teleport at the same turn I drop off? Um, yes, I believe... Cause I hope so, because we've been doing it, but actually, no, now that I think about it, no. Oh, no, I don't think I teleported off the same one I dropped off I on. don't think so. I don't think you did. So, so no. I don't think I can, though. But I don't think you can. You're right. So actually, we can't uh, go through the portal this round. So I still don't regret right. what he did. But, I don't uh, either. Yeah. I think yeah. that was still a solid move. Yeah, so that's food. And you have your final activation with Dormammu, with who's going to Mr. gain Dormammu. a total of four power at the start of my turn. Yep. And he's going to check a distance real quick. Can I get on top of this bus with a place? I don't know if your base is the right size to stay on top of that thing. Like, it's I don't know if you can unfortunate, place on it. but that's fine. Instead, I'm just going to place myself next to that dimensional rift for two power, oh. or for three power, sorry, and then pay another power to teleport through it. Yep. And I will hand you your Dormammu, sir. Yes, and Dormammu does not like the things that Doctor Strange has been doing. <laughs> That's understandable. Um, Doctor Strange doesn't like the things that Dormammu's been doing. He's come to bargain, <laughs> and... All right. Well, we'll see how well that bargain's going to do. We're going to be attacking you with a six-die energy shadow bolt. I will have four dice for this, uh, and I don't have the power to give myself extra dice for anything, so we'll see how things go. I'm counting both players' skulls, wild hex, and wild sap power. I don't roll skulls. Um, four? Yep. Pretty good. Sap power won't matter yet. Six. Uh, wow, Ooh. I made a full reroll. Yep. Yeah. I had a pretty move. Uh, I'm gonna actually Add make it worse. So I'm gonna take six and go down. Uh, okay, you had no power from which for me to stat. Um, that said, Ghost Rider is gonna gain a power and spend two to make you take two damage. Okay, so I'm gonna gain take two damage and gain two power. You dropped two things? Uh, yeah, two, uh, two, two things. I'm going to spend that power that uh, Ghost Rider just gave me to pick them up. Because he's holding three, they're immediately gonna go back into the bag. Yep. 
and I'm going to put a shard on the Nexus. Yep. That's, uh, that's I still have an action. You do. <laughs> uh, let's do a six die energy into Ghost Rider. Alrighty, Ghost Rider's gonna have four dice for this, and we'll see how it goes. This also has the wild sap power. Please power me up, Ghost Rider. No, uh, just three. three. We're gonna blocking nothing though, so we're gonna take three. All right. Ouch. And I believe that's the round. That is the round. So you will score one more victory point, mm -hmm. and we'll go into power phase. Yeah. So for my power phase, I'm going to spend two off of Mordo for Ironbound Books. Then I'm going to spend one off of Voodoo to flip my leadership. Um, so I get a re-roll against character when you attack a character that has an activated with Mystic Attack. And I get a re-roll when I attack someone who hasn't activated yet with a Mystic Attack. Okay. Oh, cool. So we're going to start with Ghost Rider. He's going to pay one to take a damage and go through this portal. We will give you a power for that. Aha! But we're going to go actually over to this rift here. Because we want to be racing right beside that one there. Mm -hmm. We're going to pick up that blue one that dropped earlier. I'm going to find a good spot for the camera. <laughs> and we're going to pull another one from the bag. So Ghost Rider is currently holding a blue. And the bag has a bunch more because Doctor Strange has ended up back in there. And we are going to pull an orange. So that would actually close off the close portal. So we're going to go do that. We're going to pay three to give ourselves a free long move. Mm -hmm. Which is going to help us get to the first portal. Um... That's going to bring us right about there. That's going to then pay one more power to drop off our only orange and close our second portal without having done an action yet. Yeah, and granting and a new card. We're going to get Reality Vortex, and I'm going to leave that on the screen for a second, but then pull it away so I can actually read it. <laughs> when this card is revealed, destroy all interactive terrain features within two of the closing Dark Dimension portal. Uh, add the sizes of the terrain features together. Characters within two suffer damage equal to the total size of the terrain distributed evenly among them. Excess damage is discarded. If there are more characters than the size of the terrain, each character suffers one. I think it's going to be the latter. It's just the bodega. So they each take one. Yeah. Cool. Um, so that's not that's not too, too bad. But also, yeah, these cards hurt. <laughs> um, I haven't found a good one yet. <laughs> there are yeah. good ones, I promise. <laughs> Alrighty, well, Ghost Rider, uh, Magic, and Voodoo, I'll take one. Okay. But Ghost Rider still has two actions, so we can do some stuff with that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just do a move action. All right. All right. Uh, so actually, yeah, Reed's just pointed out we can actually close this bottom portal if I can come down to this one. Um, it's going to take me two moves instead of the one that I was going to do, but I think that is a better call is just to close more portals. So we're going to move. We're going to move again to about here. Uh, and we're going to drop off our blue one here. And then you had ways of getting some of the other colors. So yeah. go ahead, Reed. So I'll do the simple one because I'll see what Moon Knight does afterwards. Yeah. Uh, so move, it is just going to move, 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 drop off a uh, pink. Yep. Perfect. Then um, I will go Was it Mordo? Moon Knight. Oh, no, it was Moon Knight. So okay. personality. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that actually matters a lot. I'll just roll uh, it. Yeah, yeah, roll it on the table. It's easy. Wild is, I believe, damage. I believe you're correct. Uh, so many results. Yes. Cool. Okay, so his next attack will have extra dice. Probably won't matter. No. No. Um, yeah. So, he'll move here. Yep. Just barely within one. Spin Drop one. it off. We close the portal. Yep. So that closes one. And let's see what we get this time. Reed, you can do the honors. Please don't bad. Just it in front of the camera. Um, uh, yeah, just make it there for a second, so if anyone wants to pause and read that, they can, and go ahead and read it out. So, Dangerous Blessing. When this card is revealed, the character that interacted to close the portal gains the Bleed and Stagger special conditions. The interacted character and all Crisis Team characters within three of it gain one power and may remove one damage token. Cool. Oh, Cosmic okay. Threat characters within three of the interacting characters are pushed away from this character small by the Crisis Team, which is so, no one. So, Moon Knight will be bleeding and staggering, but um, Ghost Rider and Voodoo heal and gain a power? And yep. it said within three, is Mordo damaged? Uh, yeah, actually. Not anymore. Cool. He's gonna heal one and gain a power. Woo. That's awesome. That's kind of cool. Um, um, bleeding and staggered on Moon Knight. Sweet. And then we get rid of one portal. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, so that's good. Uh, the stagger you don't have to shake right away because um, it was not the first action of your activation. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. fun interaction with getting a stagger partway through a round or a oh. turn. I, ooh, either way, it just kind of sucks. Because um, I'm like, I could shake it now. Honestly, I don't hate just shaking the stagger, anyways. Yeah. I'm going to shake the stagger, then we'll suffer one from bleed. 
Uh, right. Just didn't hear. But there is only one portal left to close, so we're in a pretty good situation with that right now. Yeah, things are not looking great. And um, that is going to be it for our team. So we are on to the cosmic threat, Dormammu, and if you would like one of his minions. I probably would, but first, Dormammu is going to gain one from his presence and one from the current... That and, feels uh, really good, slowing down that power game. Yeah. Um, ooh, I gotta think about this for a second. So we're going to start with Dormammu, yep. who is very upset at all this lack of power and is going to respond by spending it. Yep. Uh, he's going to spend three from none of this dimension, allowing him to place within two. Let's go around to the other side of Strange there. Yep, and then he's going to get very angry at Baron Mordo. No. That makes sense. So this is going to be a six die energy attack. Oh, sorry, I get to reroll one unit if it's on this attack. Cool. Just on Counting attack. skulls cool. on both. Cool. And wild set power. Two crits, not bad. But I have not had skulls. That's uh, amazing, but still re-roll. Fine. Oh, out of the box. Try again. Very mm -hmm. unroll. <laughs> Uh, three. That's three blocks, though. You're blocking three. Uh, I'm going to deal one and sap power for one. Okay. Uh, so your power would actually and change. You just take one. are hexed again. Um, and then meanwhile, gonna... Ghost Rider is going to gain a power. Did you have any crits? Uh, no. Okay. And then I'm going to do that again. Come on, Mordo. You can do it. Hopefully. Three? Uh, blocking four. two. Oh, oh, right, because skulls. Two. So he's down. Oh, yeah. wait. No, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's down. I'm still down. So he ah. takes two damage, yep, and two goes damage. down, and, and he will drop the blue one, but thankfully I don't know if you can get that within one of Dormammu. No, so I think I need to place it very far away from the rest of your team. Oh. That makes sense. Get it as far away from, from everyone as you can. Fortunate. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and I do actually have minions now. You do, so one of your minions could go if you would like. Um, Venom's actually allowed to play this turn. So we're going to go with Sabretooth. Alrighty. He's going to move to there, and he's going to spend three to throw himself medium. He throws medium on this, eh? Yeah. yeah. Wild. And he's going to throw himself into magic. Spend one for grace. I was just going to say, I think this is a good brace point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to punch Iron Fist. Yep, that makes sense. So, so Iron Fist will have three dice with blanks. Of uh, wild with a very effective pierce. Or five with a very effective pierce. Yes. <laughs> Two, maybe three? Two. Uh, we're getting a crit. He is hexed. Right? Um, so just, or two, um, actually, so we're fine. Okay. Because the blank. Yeah. Cool. Woo! All right, good talk, talk Sabretooth. <laughs> and is that it for uh, that the That is the it crisis? for this turn. Cool. All for right. now. All right, Magic will be up first. I'm gonna move here. She's gonna move within one of the things. She's gonna draw the last one out of the bag, which oh, there's two, there's three in here, four. Oh, there's an extra set. Oh, so this could be interesting if we don't pull the color we need here. Uh, we need a green to be clear, and we are getting a purple. So Iron Fist and Magic have a purple, which is fine. We have we have some redundancy on the runners there. Yeah, which I guess um, then we can move. Yeah, so I say move pretty much directly towards it, and then we'll do the bump to kind of, I don't know, onto the car or something for yeah. cover as well. Because, yeah, yeah that unfortunately, in. placing two doesn't get you where you need to be. She's done two move actions at this point, so... I guess we'll force it. Domamo is going after me, I guess he can, but... Yeah. Spend two. Uh, hop up here. Yep. Right. And that'll be magic. Yep. Um, I'll do Mr. Iron Fist next, I think. So Iron Fist isn't going to be able to make it to the middle portal, so instead what we're going to do is we're just going to basically see if he can pull the other one from the bag here, because uh, we have a little bit of redundancy with Magic now having another one of the pink ones. So we're going to start with a Flying Kick into Sabretooth here. Okay. Um, Sabretooth so can, can actually take damage now. He can. I mean, we're not really hoping to. <laughs> um, it's a four dice physical here with a place on it, and I gain one other way. We got one. You're going to uh, take one damage. <laughs> um, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and pop ourselves just on the far side of them here. And then we're just going to move as our second action. This is still on me. What am I doing? <laughs> move over here. Within one, we're going to try and be somewhat mindful of Venom's existence and be 
not much closer than we need to be if we're in four big deal but we're gonna pay one or not pay one we're gonna interact for free and draw one of the final ones from the bag here and we are getting green which is the final piece that we need is now on the board okay so that's a big deal and then we have one more activation this round um, I think it's just gonna be Doctor Strange and Doctor Strange is just gonna come back towards this other one to I guess give us more redundancy if possible because there should be another green and another blue yeah so we might as well do that because he wants to play the objective game so he's just gonna go move over this way and move again just within one here we'll actually take cover behind the truck there if we can and uh, see what Doctor Strange is pulling from the bag as well Let's see if we can finally get that uh, that, that extra blue one because I don't really think anyone's in a great position to run for it and sure enough we got the blue so that is strange all done and uh, we are on to the cosmic threat team again so yeah. venom and dormammu so venom is going to start us off yep uh you're not in range of his attacks yet we're gonna fix that yep we're going to be spending two and we're going to be pushing iron fist towards him medium Yes, sir. So get over here. I know this is technically closer to the thing you want to be towards, but I'm hoping you will not survive the experience. I'm hoping I will. So, uh, does hex apply to uh, when you have things thrown at you? Uh, yes. Cool. Have a car. Size two car. Uh, yeah, we we can we can deal with that. Um, we're gonna roll three dice and hope things work out. Uh, things are working out okay. But uh, you are Hex. Right, so we're so just taking two. one. Taking one. Um, cool, I and will take it. five die symbiote tendrils. We're going to uh, play Heroes for Hire for this one. Okay. Because that's going to give us a couple things. First of all, it's going to give us a bump. Mm -hmm. So that's going to place us just over this way. I want to get closer to the point, but mainly I want to be able to throw Venom so he's no longer able to punch me. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we survive. <laughs> we have three dice of blanks. Five. And that's Ooh. three with a crit. Three. Uh, we are blocking one because of blanks, so we're going to take two damage, which means we're very well alive. Okay. And we're going to throw you. We're also bleeding. Mm -hmm. um, and I did two damage? Yeah, yes. Eight, two. And we're going to get to throw Venom small, so we're just going to throw him away. Because mm -hmm. we don't like him here, and he is now out of range of us. Uh, I hope, I really hope not, but you're probably right. You are yeah. unfortunate. Well, he will move back. We like wasting activations on your team. I don't. Mm -hmm. It feels bad. Well, I do, so I'm going to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, you are down to Dormammu. Yes, my last activation. Dormammu needs to get some stuff done. Oh, I forgot. At the start of my turn, he gains two power. Yeah. One for presence, one for portal. Makes sense. Uh, he is going to spend three power to place himself within two. Yep. Get over here. Coming over towards both Iron Fist and Magic. Yep. yep. Uh, uh, speaking of Magic, we are going to be attacking her with a six die physical spectral claw. So that'll be Magic because of... Uh, is it still Iron Iron Bound books? Can we get to put it back up as soon as uh, oh, wow. one of his models gets uh, KO'd? Why? Well, it's it's allied too, so well, it is Mystic, but I do get full rebels. I don't count your skills, so... Cool. That's not bad. With my reroll. Uh, that's very violent. Six? Yeah. Seven. I can pierce one of his, but that doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, so I think magic, yeah, goes, magic down. goes down and drops the purple one. Mm -hmm. She's going to place it. I books to that. Yep. Um, uh, directly yeah. underneath also for the center work. of his base. Ghost Rider, I'm going to give him two power, one further damage you did to Iron Fist, and one further damage you did to the magic. Yep. And then we are going to be doing a six die energy at Iron Fist. That makes sense. Iron Fist will have three with blanks, so he's got okay chances here. And I'm counting your skulls. Well, that's rude. And wild set power. That's also rude, but fine. Uh, uh, five. Six. six. Well, we can't survive that, um, so Iron Fist will take the remaining damage and go down. Mm -hmm. He will drop both a green and a pink. And we are going to take these green and these pink, and we're going to drop one over here. And we're going to drop one over here. Alrighty. 
Not great for Iron Fist. Which leaves you with only one person left. Only one activation left, and he's not allowed to interact with objectives. <laughs> Wolverine is not great for this. <laughs> no, he was... Well, we're here with Wolverine. He's our only activation for this turn, and he's really not expecting to do much because he's not allowed to hold objectives anymore. So he's going to go ahead and do a move action. And then we're going to pay for a um, best at what I do into a Berserker's Barrage. We're not going to end up doing very much as far as um, like furthering our game plan here, but we're hopefully going to slow down yours just a little bit. So that's going to be a medium move that's then going to make a range 3 attack on Mr. Gormami. So yeah, this is going to be a 7 dice wilds counting as 2, and yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. Um, three. I'm getting two. All right. So we placed beside you. Um, we didn't even deal damage to do any sort of like throw or anything like that. But we'll chill right about here and look at you angrily. <laughs> um, that He's was been staring at me. That was a menacingly turn. And um, yeah, I think uh, that's gonna be it for Mr. Wolverine. All right. Uh, Dormon was gonna gain two power. And it's not actually enough to uh, go anywhere with his free place. Right, so he's going to actually He's not in range of anyone that he particularly wants to punch. So he's just going to take a walk over to here. Yep. Uh, and just in case, we're going to place myself at the furthest distance of this attack. Yep, and I've got a big old tree that I'm going to move. Oh, the and before I moved, there. because I'm a fool, I'm going to pick up this thing that I hid under his base. Might as well. So he's got a pink one. He's got a pink one. And we are going to be doing a six die energy attack at Doctor Strange. Yep, Doctor Strange is going to have four dice for this. I will go ahead and pay two to give myself some extra dice. Because right. I really don't want to. Are you to sure? Because if those are skulls, I get to count them. That's true, but there's a higher chance that they're not. That's fair. <laughs> so, but it would be great. We'll have six dice here and hopefully it works out. Oh, and I shouldn't have this in there. Uh, I've got five, five currently. So far. Six. six with a set power. There we go. That is all blocks except one skull. And we are not hexed, so we'll throw One, that two. in. So you're blocking, you're blocking five. five. You have effectively seven. Uh, so you... Oh, yeah, cover. We block six. I'll so do we'll one. take one. And I'll sap power we'll from you. Sapped, so I won't gain any power for it. But, yeah, solid. And I also hexed. rolled a shield, so I gain one. And I'm hexed. Yeah. Rude. Which is good. Which he doesn't immune to that. Yeah, I know, right? He, if, if, any, if anyone should be. Voodoo is. <laughs> But that was one heck of a that's defense strange. roll. Yeah. Uh, and I believe that's it for Dormammu. That is all for Dormammu. So I have no more minions to go. One victory point. I'm going to score one whole victory point. My presence hasn't been growing very quickly. No. And uh, hopefully. Mostly because my minions are not the fastest. Again. Yep, so power phase, we're going to have Iron Man books pop. And then I think we have a decent chance to just close the game here. So we're going to start with Doctor Strange. Because he already has a blue, and if he picks up a good color, then, then he gets Absolutely. two points on that portal. Yeah. And then, with a little luck... Oh. Oh, yeah, there is two left in the bag here. With a little luck, Ghost Rider can go and pick up whatever color we're missing and bring it back home. Yeah. So we're going to draw from the bag here. We're going to get an orange, which is a little unfortunate. Aha! Um, but that's fine. We're going to just go ahead and double move him. We're going to at least drop off the blue, get that out of the way so we don't need it anymore. So we're going to move him here. We're going to... Adjust this over. We're going to move him again, and we're going to drop off that lovely blue right there. A little bit forward. And that's going to be it for Doctor Strange for now. Uh, then we still need to get green and pink, which, mm -hmm. is over which are there. both over there. We're going to go ahead and have Ghost Rider go next because we think he can at least get the green. Unfortunately, we don't think he can get the purple and the green. Uh, you know what? I think I can get the purple. Um, yeah. Because I think... We're going to measure this out some more, actually. All right, well, either way, our first move, we can kind of go neutrally towards them. So we're just going to go to about there. And then we're going to try and see if we can get to the purple, because we would prefer it, but it's not... It's a little further. Oh, I think that looks pretty clean. Can you get to the portal, though? Um, a long move from there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. okay so, yeah, we're going to go for it. We're going to place ourselves, ideally, within one of this pink one very easily 
And not within one of the green, unfortunately. Unfortunately, not quite within one of both. I so didn't eyeball that correctly. We're going to pick one one up for free here, though. Uh, and that'll be the pink one. And then, yeah, as much as I would love to hang around and, and try to get that one, oh, man, how nice would it be if I had gone for the night here? Uh, we are just going to pay three power to go ahead and long move back towards the portal here. Mm -hmm. We're also going to nicely put ourselves kind of in... Um, Dormammu's face so that way we'll be able to punish his crits and things like that if that becomes relevant mm -hmm. and Then we'll pay one we'll drop off this pink one meaning the only one we need left for the game is the green That's so. it for Ghost Rider All right Moon Knight going for the crit go ahead roll right on the table there and it's to the side But it is unfortunately not the crit uh, So that's extra, attack. that's extra attack if you knock Dormammu, it's not nothing oh, So I think attacking Dormammu here is the play Okay, violence it is. So we're gonna go ahead and have Moon Knight move. And we'll do, uh, we're just going to go all out. Yeah, might as well go for a spender. Here comes an Avatar of Conchu. So nine it's dice. Be nine dice Mystic, because of my extra attack. All right, and I've got five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. Uh, violence. We will murder him. <laughs> yeah, I'm blocking one. You'll take four and go down. Yeah. So you'll drop that pink one, which... I'll place within one, I guess. Yes. Uh, actually, yeah, after the attack, because all that happens first. You don't I want to block any lanes, so... I can teleport through there, though. Uh, you can teleport two-way rift through the portal, yeah. Is that worth it? I don't think so, because it's powering up Dormammu for it. Yeah, it's not worth it. So... We're going to place the also Dormammu. Uh, oh, sorry, we actually wait, want to be you... here. With, or it's, yes, yeah, it is our after, yeah. first. Yeah. We just want to be here. Yeah. So... And then he is removed. Woo. And then as for the thing that we're placing down, uh, we don't actually care about this one, but like maybe have Moon Knight pick him up just so... Sure. Because um, it's free, and it means he can't pick it up easily. He has to at least finish Moon Knight. Yeah, yeah I'll do that, and I'll take one from Bleed. Right. right. Yeah. He's slowly dying. Cool, cool. And, and that's that. It's worth that a shot. That is that. All so right. Moon Knight hiding behind the truck there is bleeding. So unfortunately, again, on the timing, Dramamu is going to respawn, and then... Uh, Yes, Grab so presence. he goes back up to one presence. But he's only going to gain one because he gains power before going up back one presence. Right. So that's a little unfortunate. We did give him four by taking him down, though. Yes. Uh, we're going to start with Dormammu. Yep. Dormammu's going to pay a power and teleport himself over here. Yes, sir. And then he is going to go for a... Uh, we're going to do a six-die energy at uh, Mordo. Yep, that makes sense. Um, Mordo, Mordo is... Oh, Mordo's at full? Uh, yeah. yeah he's, he's on his flip side. He's on his flip. Uh, yeah, we're doing the energy. Cool. Okay. Unfortunately, Dr. Strange isn't close enough, otherwise I'd pop up his nice there, but... Oh my. Oh my. He's blocked in two. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Uh, uh, you have a reroll, right? Because you decide your cards are three, four, Yeah, five, I do Five, six, seven. Block two to take me five. Up. Okay, I need this to convert. You need the, you need a conversion here. Come on, roll into a skull. Yes. Hey, he's gonna live on one. Okay, Not and <laughs> I didn't get the uh, set power at all, which is very unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, so now Eight. you're on one. Yeah, I'm on one. So uh dormammu is just going to try it again do that again yeah it's okay we'll block everything oh no mordo is a bulky lad uh three three hey that's just two, two. oh we, we roll. roll come on yes oh, <laughs> oh beautiful you did get the set power this time though i did okay, get the set power. power that's fine so i'm going to gain a power mordo. <laughs> that's big actually that is because yeah. that means so you can unfortunate. pump up like wolverine's attacks or something next round <laughs> yeah i can Jeez. Uh, yeah, that's Ooh. bad. Alrighty. Uh, no. And then Mr. Tooth? Yeah, it's Mr. Tooth. It's Mr. Tooth's Fantastic Adventure. He's going to spend three for Primal Pounce. He's going to allow him to throw himself at a Voodoo. Yep, oh. so Voodoo's going to take a dodge on this one. Yep. You have four dice. Uh, yeah, it picks yeah, dodges, it I believe. Dodges. Yeah, it's a little bit. Okay. Uh, three with two crits? Sure. Three. Takes one. So I'll take one. one. Okay. Good, 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 good start so far. We're going to do so a five die... Here. <laughs> We're going to do a five die claw slash of you. Okay, come on. 
Uh, we'll make this mystic. Mystic claws with the pierce. Two. Three. Three. So okay. pierce brings it down to one. Or two. Uh, yeah, so you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. And I'm going to do that again. Makes sense. Two, three, four. You missed it again. Two. Two this time. Oh, you've got it. Oh, uh, yeah, good voodoo. <laughs> you also rolled a skull in the first one. So oh, sorry. Yeah. I think and in the this. second? No. Okay. So, so get the that's it for that's Saber Tooth. Real cool. And now it's us. We're going to go ahead and have Wolverine go next because, I mean, all three of our remaining characters are going to go here and Wolverine's activation is the least influential. So he's going to pay five total power to charge into a uh, Berserker Barrage. But notably, we're going to end him within range three of our good buddy Mordo here. Mm-hmm. He's going to spend two power and buff him. Yeah, so this is going to be, what, nine dice then? Yep, two extra dice. All right. Cool, so a nine dice, Wild's counting as two. Let's just ruin Normanu's day. Doesn't so matter, but Wolverine will take a damage after that attack's resolved, but healing cool. factor, so yeah, whatever. I'm blocking yeah, That's three. one wild. Blocking and four. Oh, I got a couple crits in here, so we're on one wild so far. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to take four. I okay, don't so get anything for this. Um, I place within one of you. Uh, we're going to place ourselves... Um, can you buff me again? Or is no, it's worth returning. Okay, so we're going to place ourselves right here backstopped on Doctor Strange. All right, uh, minus well, damage. because I have the power, I'm yes. going to spend next pack. two yes. for a uh, field power of darkness. I'm going to push you back small, oh no, Yep. and, and hex you. The hex will matter, um, but thankfully, uh, because I did take a damage off of friendly fire here, mm-hmm. um, I am going to have an extra die on my second attack. Okay. So we're just going to go for a regular... Adamantium slash into you. This is going to be a five dice with a pierce okay. and a wild bleed. If you even can bleed. And holy, the hex matters, but we're looking at five with a pierce. Uh, I'm looking at one block, which means I take four. Uh, after the pierce? Yeah. Oh, no, you count uh, spells? No. Then I take four. Oh, because that's all you can take. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> well, I gained four for that. <laughs> I am <laughs> dead. <laughs> um, oh, you're yeah. also bleeding. Um, <laughs> We're then going to do absolutely nothing with him. He's not bleeding. Psh, what's blood? Or, no, no, no. The bleed was on uh, Moon Knight oh. there. Oh, okay. It's on Moon Knight? Um, so, um, I think Wolverine's just done after that. I don't think there's anything he could do. He's a great candidate to patch someone else up if we want to do that. But Wouldn't hate Mordo having more health so he could run objectives. Uh, well, I don't have oh, any move, move, move actions left, so that's on you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go ahead and go with and Mordo and Mordo's Mordo's best play, I think. Is... Actually, Mordo's best play might be to force him to focus on this. If Mordo double moves over here and pulls the last green one, then next turn he can double move on the So I was thinking, I was wondering if I could run by for a patch-up. I don't know if you'd be able to get the patch-up and go there. Yeah, because medium base, I have flight, so I will ignore... Yeah, uh, I don't think you I get there from mm, within one of um, within two. Yeah, or yeah, within two of um, Wolverine, I like there, and then no, 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 we have to run. I think you're better off just going here and forcing him to at least put some attention towards you. Yeah, do you think we should patch up someone that matters? So I don't want it to be Ghost Rider because if he decides to punch no. Ghost Rider here, him going down is actually a good thing. Yeah. Could be Moon Knight, I guess, but that's kind of okay. There's an argument for Moon Knight. There's a small argument for Strange. I don't. Strange only is taking one damage. Mm. I honestly think we, we can hold it for now. Yeah, we'll hold it for now. Uh, so, Mordo. Unless you want to have Voodoo move first and heal Mordo. Voodoo move, punch, and then heal Mordo. Oh, that's actually not a bad plan. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like that. Alrighty. So we're gonna... So Voodoo's up first for us. Or next for us. could always punch first. Doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, we're gonna... Actually, it matters for my trigger. Uh, so we're... Presumably... Yeah, that's true. It's a better to yeah. move first. We're gonna move first. Cool. So we're gonna move him over there. Yep. And here comes five dice missed. Uh, Saber Tooth has four. Give me all the saps. Uh, you got one. Okay, cool. Three, Three with the sap power. Blocking two, taking one, getting that one power sap. We'll get two, no skulls. Okay. Uh, but that's fine. You gained two, two total power, and then you can patch up for full. Oh, sorry, no power sap. You said. Uh, one, power one power sap. One power sap. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, so yeah, might as well patch up uh, all four. four. Yeah, all cool. four. Good. That's and that fully bad. heals Mordo, who's then going to go next. Who's then going to run. Yep. And hopefully he pulls the last green one, because there is, I think... No, there was only one in the bag. 
So it's going to be with green well, worst case scenario, if Ghost Rider can't do it, I can try again on the same portal next turn. Exactly. Time. We'll have at least two potential interrupts to do it. So here it is. You can try to fight it in there, but it is just the final token. And it is, surprise, surprise, a green one. So that's going to go on Mordo. And he will have that ready to run for the next round. And that is it for our team. So it is Dormammu's respawn time at zero this time. Yes, he's finally respawning at zero. Which he is, is really He's nice. also not gaining any power um, because he is yeah. 10. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, right. Alrighty, what is Dormammu up to? Oh, Venom Dormammu. first. Venom first. All right. He's taking a walk back over to this portal. Yep. He's going to interact with it. I, I hate to break it to you, but I don't he know if He should have been. He, wa he was... We pushed him... Oh, oh you pushed him from over here. You're yeah. right. <sighs> that's so Yeah, that didn't look like it was in. Oh, oh yeah, and he also got heroes for hired and everything. Yeah, oh, that's, that's right. All over the yeah, map. he's been all over the... Yeah. Drat. I still <laughs> thought he was over... Oh, man. That messes up the pipe tree That's a very quite big a bit. deal. He's planning on having him go over here and yoink and maybe well, punch. Can he yoink without moving? Can, can he pull me without moving? Like, if he moves onto that, teleports, is he in range to pull me from the middle portal? Uh, he should be, yeah. Because you could still do that, and, and then Dormammu punched, could yeah. maybe one tap. Yeah, so we're just going to move again. Teleport. Teleport over here. It's range four for the yoink. Yep. So we're just going to... Oh, I also do have something when I'm pushed. Oh, I right. can spend two to advance. When he's pushed, he can spend two to just advance oh, no. more, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, I forgot he also had that. That complicates things. Turns out he's very good at running objectives. Yeah, mortal has got weird text. Weirdly enough. Well, we're going to force it, I guess. Because uh, it, is it small? It's small, yeah. So you get to push me, and then I go over to Yeah, small. so we're going to go medium. Oh, yeah, it is a medium pull, so that is still somewhat worth doing. Yep, and then after I'm pushed, I'm going to spend small and that will advance small. He has flight, eh? He does have flight. Hide him behind the building. Yeah, I was also wondering if I could... No, I don't think no. so. Okay. Yeah, because that way he's actually still closer to the objective at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. He's going to hide behind that building there. Cool. Yeah. So he'll at least have cover from anything Dormammu tries to do. And he's spending two power. Yep. To Come be on, not this dimension. He's got the so himself far. within two. <laughs> He's going to get over here. Yep, staying within one of your own home base. Yep. Alrighty. Lost my and we have got... Yeah. Uh, are you within three of Strange? Or did uh, we make mistakes? We might have made mistakes. I think you're just... We're out. out. No! We, we definitely made mistakes. Alright, it's fine. Alright, how much health does he have? Um, full, so five. This is bad. Uh, yeah, it's going to be six die energy. Uh, counting your skulls. Come on, Mordo. Just one. one. Or, yeah, one. Wait. Cover. Right. Uh, Just one, two, three, four. four. So, take, so three. take three. He's alive. He's alive. On okay. one. Or on two. It's on two. He's got this. And we're going to try that again. Yep. Come on, Mordo. You got this. Come on, you're the hero. That's a, uh, that's three a skull for cover. me. That is a skull for you. But that's three up for cover. One, two, three, four. So we take one. Yeah. Mordo, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, Living on I did one. get a sap power. Okay, that's fine. Living on one. That's beautiful. Oh. That um, is real bad. I'm assuming that's it for Mr. Dormammu. No, he's going to... Yeah, he's bad. I'm really <laughs> hoping to not do this now. Yeah, uh, no, this is... I do get one more act activation with him. Uh, yes. You still is, get it in when we go. Yes. Which oh, is right wow. now. That's two in a row. Oh. Yeah, it's right now. So that is happening now. Uh, yeah, God. he's going to gain Gross. some power back. And we're going to continue do, this. I think I have to continue this. <laughs> yeah, so one more time. I see you survive this one attack that we win anyways. Yeah, if you survive at least one, we're good. Uh, two after cover. Uh, one, two, three, no. four, five. He drops. <laughs> no, Mordo is dead. He drops the green one wherever you drop. That is very important. My books come back, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where do I drop this? Is there a world where I can drop it where Dormammu can pick it up? Not without moving. Which actually, yeah, this might be fine either way. Yeah, this might be. Oh, um... Ghost Rider should get some power though, right? Yeah, Ghost Rider would have got like three power from all of that. Yeah, because he was. Okay, we'll place it. 
Except for, yeah. I'm we'll place it way over here. Cool. So it's just as far towards the edge of the map as yep. you can. And then Dormammu is going to spend a power. Yep. He's going to interact with his nexus and teleport over here. Yep, so he can go pick up that one. He's going to spend two power to be not of this world, or this dimension. Teleport a tiny bit. Teleport a tiny bit to over here. Spend another power, pick this one up. Yep. I would love to have the other one right now, but that wasn't in the cards. Alrighty. And... I believe that's Dormammu. He still oh, has, an, he action. has an action. You can punch someone. And is anyone alive over here? Uh, Strange is alive. Yep, Strange. He's um, just out on my spender. But... Listen, I've got power for days. <laughs> I haven't gotten to use the spender in a while. So dropping it on Ghost Rider then? Uh if yeah. Strange was just out. Strange was just out. That's my own guy. And he there's no one to bounce it to. And draw up straight uh how much does Ghost Rider have then? Uh four remaining. Oh, um There's no world where I put this into into uh well it's just uh do I... Yeah, we're doing the spender into Ghost Rider. I don't care to buff his defense dice here. Um, why would we? This is going to be four dice. Mm -hmm. So the objective next turn is just everyone's going to kill Stormammu and Ghost Rider will pick it up and run it home. Ghost Rider can just auto win anyways. Teleport, oh. grab. Yeah. All right. Right? Yeah, but that's more fun. <laughs> we could try it and then leave that as the last thing to do. All right. Uh, we're getting... Four on the five, five on the attack. Uh, I am blocking nothing, so Ghost Rider goes down. Uh, you're giving me two. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you gave him two. Oh, yeah. yeah. Aha! <laughs> uh, Ghost Rider takes four damage and will gain almost four power, mm -hmm. uh, but he's going to max out on power and go down. But yep. that is not the end for Ghost Rider because he no. was still healthy. Unfortunately, that's it for Dormammu and my turn, and I score nothing. My yes, because we have zero. Him at zero. Which also makes him a little squishier, too, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Alrighty. Well, we're going to go ahead and do power and go into the next round. Well, we might have a pretty much surefire way with that one. Actually, I'm not sure if that is, because I think I need two movements to get there and two movements to get back. So what? I don't think I can get that. You have a long move, though, right? With Ghost Rider? Only yeah. one. The long move doesn't get him from that so to the portal. spend one, teleport, move. Oh, yeah, move. I could teleport. Yeah, that's true. But we're going to try the more fun way first. We're going to try and kill Dormammu and take it off of the corpse. <laughs> so we're going to start out with, I think actually starting with Strange for this makes sense. Because, oh no, Strange. this Strange doesn't apply. Oh, the Strange does apply Hex when I pay to make my attacks physical instead of energy. <laughs> um, so we'll do that. So Strange is going to go. He's got a range four. You are a range four. Yeah. Yes. Uh, am I range three? I don't no. think so. Okay. No, I couldn't. If I was going to spend her into you, but he's not in range. Cool. So we're just going to be doing the builders here, but we are going to pay to make the first one physical in the hopes that we can throw a hex onto Dormammu, which feels weird, but you know, we'll allow it. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to throw, because he's worse on physical and energy, yes. right? Yes, he has four dice instead of five. Five dice uh, physical coming yeah. your way. Uh, that's not bad. Three with a crit. Three. Uh, no crits here. Right, okay. no crits. So three, I'll block two, take one. So I will gain one. I will also get to advance you small. And you are hexed. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and advance you over here. So you are in that nice mm -hmm. range three. And then just for funsies, I'm going to spend two. Yep. You're going to be pushed back. Rude. And because you're already hexed, you're now incinerated. Right, that is how this works. Well, that's fine. Um, now are we in range three? We are. So we're going to do that lovely thing called the spender. Yep. We're going to throw six dice. Um, I can't use the leadership again to make it a different type. So it is unfortunately mystic, which is your better side. Mm -hmm. Are you immune to staggers? I am immune to stagger, stun, bleed, and incinerate. All right. Well, we can't stagger you and we can't activate you because that's not how this game works. But we will get you anyways. You can't explode your crits. You're hexed now. I am hexed. So that's just one block. We're getting three hits. Um, so take we'll two. two damage. I'll take it. I don't get anything for that. And cool. That's not bad. So we have him down somewhat low. He has eight health still on the, on the zero. Yes, he has five remaining. Cool. Well, we're going to try to do it with Wolverine. So Wolverine is going to pay five for his best at what I do into a Berserker Barrage again. Unfortunately, no Mordo to make it better this time around. So we're going to jump him up. Um... 
I don't want to do this so you can't push me in a meaningful way. He plays afterwards anyways. That's true. Yeah. So we're gonna we're just gonna throw ourselves up here for now, because it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. And throw uh, seven dice with wilds counting as two. And you know what? This might be my second action, because if he pushes me away, I can't attack him with my range two after that. And I oh, don't feel yeah, power just here. Shake the... So I'm just gonna shake the hex before we do this. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um so yeah, seven dice crits do explode. Uh, One and three? Just two, so unless it's a wild, it doesn't matter. Yeah, wow. you're fine. everything. So at that point, I think we do the safe play. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? Because you are down to five still. As much as it would be fun to pen and stare you twice. Uh, <laughs> well, no, we wouldn't do it twice. But um, pen and stare you and see how that works out for us. I think we're just going to go with the safe play for the ghost right here. So he's going to take a damage, which will give you a power. Hooray. He's going to teleport over to here. And then he's going to do a move action just to be nice and within one of this. For fun, he'll try to grab something from the rift and won't be able to, and the world will blow up. <laughs> um, Stack overflow, I win. win! Then he will pay three power to play, or to do a long move wherever I put my long move thing. There it is. Um, that's gonna actually clear the building, which is nice. So we're just gonna pop ourselves out over here beside Dr. Strange, and then do another move action. Deposit. That's not how this works. Oh, shoot. Hmm? We teleported through there. <gasps> oh, no. We can't deposit with him. Oh, we needed no. to kill Dormammu. Um, that's fine, because he's got pretty much full health. And I should actually flip his card so his health is accurate. Um, we just need to either keep him alive or be able to pick it up again after. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's a big deal, though. We messed that turn up. Oh boy. I should have went for the kill on Dormammu. Yeah, I forgot about that. Whoops. Well, uh, you are up, sir. Okay. So you still have Moon uh, Knight. Voodoo. Voodoo. And Moon Knight and Voodoo. Moon Knight and Voodoo. Okay. I should have paid for Unbound Books. Oh, no. Uh, we're going to start with Venom. Alrighty. Venom starting out for the Crisis Team. Yep. Or not the Crisis Team, the Cosmic Threat. Mm -hmm. He's going to be spending two on Web Snare. He's going to be grabbing... Uh, voodoo. Yep. I'm pulling him right over here to say hello. Rude. That also gives me a better spot for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so not rude is what I'm hearing. And then we're going to be going at him with five die symbiote tendrils. Do I bother on the first one? Maybe because it prevents him from doing a spender. All right, stranger wants the stuff then. Okay. So I'm only six. Hey, it's like Music Mystic. Oh, oh <laughs> sorry. That won't be important. My dimensional rift. That will be poor. Oh, very important. Um. Two. two. You're good. Oh, that one. Two. You're bleeding, though. Yep, you're bleeding. And uh, we're going to try... I, yeah, I'm not built. <laughs> and we're going to try that one more time. Okay, oh. cool. I'm not going to buff it this time because yeah. I only have so much power. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, for one. For none? Yeah, Venom's not doing it right now. Cool, cool. Uh, we still have Dormammu. Yep. Who is going to be doing a... Six die energy at Moon Knight. Uh, Moon Knight does have stealth. That is yeah, illegal. Three, well, yeah. then I'm going to teleport okay. first. <laughs> Sounds good. Gonna place within two. Yeah. Hello. Woo. Ready? Take my hex with me. And then I'm Ooh, going to hide do... behind the truck. He's not very visible, but that's fine. Uh, six die energy. Uh, one. Uh, and I got a spell for you. Yep. But so that's roll. two. Two. Yeah. All right, so you take nothing. Uh, I did get the wilds of set power. Yeah, sure. He believes in the moon, it's fine. It's unfortunate that I can't get both of you. Uh, oh, wait, maybe I can. I'm going to spend five power. No. He sat my power, so I can't defense of this. Um, I can, but we'll see if it's worth it. Yeah, We're okay. doing the eight die incantation of obliteration into Moon Knight. <laughs> yeah, this is not sounding great for Moon Knight. This counts both of our skulls. Uh, this is Mystic, right? Yep. So Moon Knight has... Oh, oh, my right. hex. He have the I'm hexed! Uh, four. four. <laughs> uh, also, Ghost Rider's going to punish those skulls and, and deal four damage to you. Those crits and deal four? Or crits, yeah. Oh no, I'm hexed. Do I take none? Uh, no, you do take one damage. Okay, he's alive. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, this is big because we have Dor Dormammu on one and we're about to activate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Did you get your trigger? I did not. So if Voodoo or Moon Knight finishes him, they win the game. Okay. If you Voodoo do or Moon Knight does one damage. You know what? Oh, no. Moon Knight's been dummying Dormammu a decent amount. Roll his personality and roll his personality. Come on. Let's also, see. just like rolling personality. That's fair. Shield, I think that's just power. Yeah. Power. Unfortunate. I believe in the moon. Um, And we'll do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's four and four. four. It's step. actually not bad odds. Or with full rerolls. Um, yeah, let's just do throwing crescents. Yep. The rapid fire four dice. Four? Four with rapid fire. He goes down. <laughs> moon Knight. Uh, moon Knight gains one, can pick up the thing yep. for free, and run it home. Let me just, just, just thematically. <laughs> yeah. Let's go Beautiful. Here. Then we'll drop it off. Blow up the final portal. Then we'll bleed and we'll be at one. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. What a freaking game. And it's Moon Knight That's... with a single throwing crescent to the face. Yeah, yeah. Moon... <laughs> like, Ghost Rider does all the work. Moon Knight gets the kill steal and is just like, hey, I'm here. Oh, man. man. He, he did the work by surviving. That's true. That's true. Oh, he yes. do an excellent job at that. That defensive roll at the end was what? Four on three four dice? Four on three dice. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Um. What a freaking game. <laughs> All right. I was really worried. Starting out this encounter, I thought this was going to be really hard because you were just dropping our models really fast. Mm -hmm. But once we start getting some portals online, once we figured out how to properly run to the portals, um, your power just went away yep. so fast. Um, Messing with Dormammu's power regeneration really hurt him. No, that was a big deal. And I think stuff like killing him with Wolverine near the end was probably a mistake because that, that helped keep him online even when he only had one portal left. Mm -hmm. um, but like, had we not done that, you would have had a few really sad turns there. And I think we probably could have closed yeah. that out around earlier. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, no, that was that was a lot of fun. I really like this encounter. I would definitely play this one again. Yeah. Um, I might have to pick up Dormammu now. <laughs> Ooh, join the Dark Dimension. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's a, that's an awesome ultimate encounter. That, that, that's really cool. Um, yeah, what, do you, what did you guys think? Yeah, I liked it. I think I definitely made a more thematic choice with For my sure. minions. I don't think they Although we definitely great. went very thematic on our end as well. Yeah. Um, I, I think, think Sabretooth is a very solid pick. Venom's a little slow. Yeah, Venom is... A, I figured that him being able to teleport would have been... It helps, helpful. for sure. Um, but yeah, he's he's a little slow, and then, like, the web pulls are nice, but I, I think you would want a little more... I think I got a little distracted on focusing down uh, fighting with my minions. I yep. think that... I thought, oh, I'll send Sabretooth around the side to deliver one of the shards. Yeah. I think I should have had them both focusing on delivering shards. That probably wouldn't have been a bad idea. Um, and in Venom's defense there, he got shoved away from the point before he actually had a chance to pick anything up. Yeah. Um, so he was kind of in that in that awkward situation from the beginning of, like, he was wasting move actions to do anything. Um, but, yeah, no, it was, like... I, I definitely applaud the thematic choice. I agree, Venom probably wasn't the the best one here. <laughs> uh, on our end, we did the same with Wolverine to that regard. Um, he ended up being okay near the end, but like I said, I think him attacking you was actually more to your benefit than it was to ours. Once I when I have presence, I absolutely agree. And yeah. if I have presence and I don't have a way to get it back immediately when I pick back up, I agree because it slows me down. But getting to eight and never getting past presence one, yeah. 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 Yeah, like I think the only time we shouldn't have punched him was when we when we like you would have scored one more point. You would have been at presence one, but you wouldn't have been at ten power, yeah. which was really big. So I think that time that we dazed him kind of just because Wolverine had nothing better to do, <laughs> that was a mistake. Yeah. Um but outside of that, I think um this team did surprisingly well considering it was a very like I mean before this game I literally said to Reed, we're going to play only mystic focused characters. And Wolverine. Um, <laughs> and it didn't do terribly. It, it no. worked really well. I mean, yeah. Mordo was an MVP here. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ghost Rider was insane on this yes, scenario. Yes, I think that saying, oh, I'm just going to do the Mystic ones, and then going for the fastest, best objective runner in <laughs> yeah. the game. Yeah. I was so terrified because of Deal with the Devil that I didn't want to touch him. And, and that's, the, that was the right call, I think, still. I... I'm going to be honest with you, I think that if I had been able to focus him more, I would have 
preferred to eat through four go- layers of Ghost Rider because he <laughs> scored so much. I think one one important thing though is like a lot of those early punches you did onto our three threats that just took them right out, like Iron Fist, Moon Knight, Magic. Uh, even Ancient One, who's technically a fourth threat, yeah. um, they dropped really, really fast, and we dropped a lot of uh, scoring on, on that side of the board because of that. Ghost Rider was able to make up for it on this side, but I think in, if instead of Ghost Rider, or, or instead of them, you'd focus on Ghost Rider, because he also had Doctor Strange sitting there who could have been buffing his defenses, um, I think Ghost Rider would have taken at least twice the amount of effort to take down as any That's of those fair. three threats did. Um, that was my thought, was just target some runners, get try and weaken in this first. form of the board. And well, then... and then by the end of the game here, if you did finish off Ghost Rider, we didn't have very many amazing targets to come back on. I probably honestly would have picked Wolverine, uh, just because yeah. he can't play the actual objective anymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I think targeting at the Squishy was still the right call. Um, it's just, yeah, Ghost Rider is just such an effective piece at, at kind of doing his thing and, and running around like that. And like I said, like my options were go at really, really beefy Ghost Rider who could be buffed by Doctor Strange and have four layers of body to chew through. Or go through a bunch of three threats that when you do that they will power up Ghost Rider. Yeah, that's fair. Um and yeah, like Moon Knight, um Magic and well mainly just those two. At the end of the day, most of the time, they're rolling three dice with no defensive tech. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they die very fast. They yeah. uh, and they did. Um, Moon Knight somehow survived to the end. But... <laughs> so, yeah, Moon Knight kind of survived for a bit longer. <laughs> longer than he probably had any right to on the flip side. Um, yeah. But, and so did Mordo for that regard. We had a few really, really nice defensive spikes that were pretty big for us. But um, Yeah, Dormammu's you know. only power generation other than the start of turn one being wild sap power. Yeah, felt rough. Yeah, that the one. End. Well, What's, especially since some of the ones you got uh, were also like, you got sap powers, and you did it on a character who has no power. Yeah, <laughs> um, and it was just one of those one of those situations where yeah, it didn't always work out amazing for you in that sense. Um, but yeah, no, I think um, that's definitely an encounter I'd play uh, again because I that, oh, that was sure. a lot oh, of yeah. fun, and I do like that that we were able to do a very thematic thing with the. You know, we brought entirely mystic users, and you brought the the Midnight Suns corrupted characters, which was which was a really cool thing. So, yeah, but I think that is going to do it for this battle report. This is definitely one of the longer ones we've done, so we're going <laughs> to wrap it up here. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and um, yeah, if you want to see more ultimate encounters like this one, do let us know. We have a bunch of them that we haven't done yet, uh, and I I really enjoy doing these sorts of things. So. We can definitely do them in the future. If you have specific ones you, you want to see, uh, please do say something. And if we can, we'll do it. The only ones we, we don't really have access to are like the, the Hydro Tank one, which technically you have. We just don't have any painted Hydro Tank ready. I can work on that. <laughs> um, if you guys want to see the Hydro Tank, you can force me to paint. There we go. Um, so do that. Let's, let's force Alex to paint. Um, <laughs> but seriously, if there are other ones that you guys are interested in, I know we have the Magneto one. Uh, we we could do the Hulk one because everyone has the Hulk one. Um, we could do the Spider Man one, and there might be a few others. Thanos, we haven't done Thanos yet. So I love Thanos. Yeah, I I think I've played the Thanos one once or twice, and it's it's a cool one. But um, yeah, so if there's any you guys want to see, let us know down below. But otherwise, that's gonna be it for this one. So until next time, everybody, have a great day. Peace. <laughs>